Hey there, brother. It's Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Pardon me while I practice a new video set up here. And at the end of this, you're going to see me come over and turn the phone off. Because no, I don't even have a revote, a remote. So here we are. Post-election. The title of this video is How to Be a Man Post-Election. What I'm talking about is how to be a real man, not like one you might play on TV. So this video is going to go fast and furious, so hold on. How to be a real man and not play one like you might play one on TV. After things like this, after elections like this, men can get angry, sad, boisterous, sarcastic, uh, jubilant. They could get um, mean. They could get pissy. We could have any range of emotions. Whether or not your guy won doesn't matter. This video is about how no matter what is going on around you, no matter what is stimulating you or triggering you, how to be a real man and not like the ones they show on TV. So what does it mean? I want to give you four things to think about in this video. Four things to think about if you want to be a real man after this kind of thing happens, no matter what the trigger is. It could be your guy didn't win the election. It could be your wife is sleeping with your best friend. It could be you're about to lose your job. Any of those things are fair reason for a guy to become a little boy. I'm telling you how to be a real man. Here are four things to think about. The first one starts with the letter L. I want you to be a leader. I want you to be a leader of yourself. I want you to be a leader of your own emotions. I want you to know what you stand for. I want you to know by heart maybe three things that are most important to you more than anything. Three commandments or three non-negotiable terms or three principles. And if you don't have them right now, I'll give you three. How about kindness? How about compassion? How about respect? Just try those on. Kindness, compassion, respect. Real easy. They roll off your lips. A leader knows what he stands for and he knows what he is leading. So if you want to have kindness and compassion and respect in your life, you're going to have to lead it by demonstrating it. You have to embody the values you believe in consistently if you ever expect to have a life with other people that involves kindness, compassion, and respect. So leadership, that's number one. What's number two? Number two, how to be a real man post-election is to think about action, being action-oriented. Don't sit around on the couch. Don't get on Facebook. Don't spend your time in social media. Actually do something. Come up with a plan. Get crap done. I won't cuss on this video today so YouTube doesn't take it down. Get crap done. This is a guy who knows that being action-based, focused, productivity-based, and getting things done that need to be done, taking responsibility and following through, getting things done that need to be done without being asked or told to do it. That's a real man. So we have leadership and we have action-based, being activity-based, taking action, making a decision. That are, those are the first two. Number three, it might seem counterintuitive, but I want you to slow down and use your imagination. I want you to be more magical in the way you think, more creative, more in inventive, if you will. I want you to think about solving problems creatively, how to include others in solutions without being a bull in a china closet, how to take your time and create something that's, that's a little different maybe. Do something different with your hands. Do something different with your words. Do something different with your kids that is inventive and creative and sparks imagination and possibility. That's a really important thing for a man. So a real man leads, he takes actions, and he inspires creativity. And, and inventiveness in others and himself. And number four, what I want you to do is learn how to play. Get the, get the uh, <laughs> metaphor. I want you to learn how to play. Playfulness, lightheartedness, adventureness, ex exuberance, excitement, right? Being, being engaged and being enthusiastic, whether it's dancing or singing or planning a trip or playing ball, sensuality, sexuality, those are all forms of play. Real men know how to not take themselves so freaking seriously or they get so caught up in the matter of the moment, whether it's an election, a job challenge, or a woman who's triggering you. A real man doesn't get consumed by his emotions with those things and he doesn't get preoccupied. He knows how to lead what he believes in. He knows how to take action on the things that are most important. He knows how to become inventive and inspirational in his thinking and his creativity. And he knows how to play and inspire others to want to play with him. That's a real man. So see if he can do that after this election. Now. 
The way this video went today was fast, it was furious, it was in your face, I'm excited, I'm all in for you, and I want you to know that this is how it feels in my community. When you're talking with one of my coaches or any of the other senior leaders in my community, it feels like this, it's engaged, it's man to man, it's eye to eye. And if you want more of this, I wanna encourage you, if you've been thinking of having a call with me or one of my coaches, fill out the application form on the website and just say, hey, I want a call, here's my deal, here's my story, this is what I want, this is what's getting in my way. And we'll have an hour to 90 minute call with you. No strings, the whole point is that all of us love helping men like you. We want you to get to a point where you feel excited and exuberant for life. We want you to know how to lead and take action and be creative and play. We want you to know how to do those things so you feel totally cool, calm, and comfortable in your own skin. So think about it. Reach out if you're ready, brother. Take care, bye-bye. Oh yeah, I gotta turn the camera off. See ya.